Could you please tell us who the winner is? I can indeed. Um, the winner has a brilliant job title. He is the master of imagination. The Ted Rag Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Jeff Stratton from Lipson Community College in Plymouth. It's hard to believe it's 50 years. Mind you, I've no intention to stop it. This is a great place to work, and as long as I can still make a difference to young lives, I'll carry on. I first came across Jeff about 15 years ago when I was a new head teacher. He was working in one of our satellite centres. I immediately thought, we've got challenging youngsters that need retracking, and Jeff has got the skills to do that. So I snapped him up, and I think that's one of the best decisions I've ever made. When I left art college, the principal said to me, you'll never make a living as a painter, you can't make a living, you have to teach. So I was a teacher and then became deputy head. I was a point ahead in the early 80s of a secondary school in Plymouth, which really needed turning around. And it did turn into a really beautiful school. From there, I went to County Hall as a senior education officer, became very disillusioned with the whole politics and went back working as a volunteer. And then Steve saw my work, glory be. What a good day that was. He's far more than an art teacher. He's all master of imagination. He works creatively to engage students and build their self-esteem to allow them to feel they can be the people they want to be. The whole thing about drawing is this business of representing three dimensions on a two-dimensional surface. You're not copying what's there, you're representing it, you're making sense of it. Because Jeff's been teaching for so long, he's managed to teach parents and then children and seem to be grandparents of the same families. He taught me in primary school when he used to drop in and then he taught me here whilst I was at Lipson for my school years. And then I went away and did my degree and now I'm back working alongside him as a teaching assistant and he's not changed at all. Teaching is actually looking after the children. We're in loco parentis. We're their parents. We've been given that by their parents. We look after them. Teaching children is teaching them everything. A few years ago, I was in a a bad place um, and I couldn't, emotionally I, was, I found it difficult and I couldn't deal with it on my own. It's helped me in many different ways. It's helped me academically and it's helped me personally confront a lot of demons. Jeff links with our community remarkably well. He leads on work with the Respect Festival, with the Barbican Theatre and of course here at the college he's, he's our chief set builder. He never ceases to amaze with what he can do artistically and, of course, his creative use of, well, cardboard. What do you reckon, girls? Cardboard mouse. Does that work? I feel like nobody's managing me at all. I mean, I know they are, probably very cleverly. But Steve just lets me do my own thing. I can get away with wearing red and green shoes. I can get away with not doing my tie-up in the usual way, wearing it around my neck. But it's about being allowed to be who I am. Headship can be a very lonely job, and I've always appreciated the mentoring skills that Jeff brings to me. He's always been there for me, he's a hero to me, and I know he's a hero to all our school community. The day will come probably when I'm a grumpy old man and someone will point it out to me and say, come on Jeff, you're a bit past it now. And in that case, I'd probably go and work at home, but it won't stop because I am who I am. Please welcome to the stage our Lifetime Achievement winner, Jess Tran from Lipson Community College. very humble about this. Um, I've got lots of people that I could thank, but, but who, the people I really must thank the most are the, the, my colleagues at present at Lipson Community College. It's a fantastic place to work, wonderful. Um, what it says on this program, education is the most powerful weapon we have to change the world. I know that's true. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. When I first started teaching, 
there was a Berlin Wall, there was apartheid in South Africa, there was segregation in America. Gay people could be prosecuted and put in prison. Teachers were expected to cane and hit children round the head. It was a moral duty. I had classes of 45 children. There were no supply teachers. There were no classroom assistants. And slowly this has changed. It's got better, better. Most of the children I first taught left school at 15 with no qualifications at all. Since then, all sorts of changes have happened. Gradually the zeitgeist has got better and better. I'm so optimistic about the future. Our young people are fantastic. They're marching into the future with our help. And I'm so optimistic. Thank you ever so much for this award. I'm most grateful, but it is for me and all my colleagues. Thank you very, very much. Many congratulations again. What a worthy winner. Now, remember, anyone and everyone can...